Right, so I'm just going to do a bit of an unboxing. Um, as Clint mentioned in one of the other, one of our other updates, um, we got this from the States. They're normally about $110 in New Zealand, and I think we got two of these, including postage, from the States for about $90. So, yeah, unfortunately, we can't always buy local. It is a lot cheaper. Thank you for patting me, Aston. You like my suit. You think I look gorgeous. <laughs> That's not what you said before when I was doing the dance. You were laughing at me. They were laughing at my expense. This baby. Now, the stuff we're going to be spraying on here is actually meant to be non-toxic and everything. But, if we don't trust stuff. I've had enough health problems and I don't feel like more. So, <laughs> so we're not taking any risks. Why don't you do it and I'll take the camera? Because you've done this before. There we go. No, you right. can't take the camera. These here are the filters which are supposed to take out all the toxins and stuff. Organic vapor class one filters. They're the good ones and they just clip on like this. And because... Don't these go there, Yeah, and what we do is, because we're painting, these are quite expensive, so we've got these little covers that stop the paint. See? Mm. So we're going to put it in like that. And this one here goes over like that, and they just click on place, and then you can breathe through that, and when it gets clogged, you take that and you put a new one in. So you don't mm. have to keep on buying expensive filters, and they've given us quite a few refills here. Oh, okay, cool, I was going to ask. And the re but the refill's actually really cheap, so I've actually got a box in them somewhere. Going to start off painting the inside of this first, just so I get a bit of a trial run, so I don't stuff up the outside of it. A. Hey. <laughs> Olivia, stop picking your nose. The world could see you picking your nose then. There we go. There we go. And now this here, you take it apart. And then you put that on first. And you clip it around your neck. And then... Around my neck. Oh, okay. okay. And then this here goes... Goes on the back of your head. Yes, and this here goes... Fits your, fits your noggin wall. Do you want to film this, Sam, since you're the film? <laughs> Oh, go on, Olivia can have a turn. Sam got to film the last, the tractor okay. thing. Let Olivia have her moment of glory behind the camera. <laughs> right, so right. this here goes on. This pops in around here. Yep. And that there goes. Like that. Now we're going to pull that slightly tighter too. Yeah, these sound. These sound a bit like Darth Vader. Right. Then. It's kind of similar to Darth Vader. It is. Oh, it, takes a bit of breathing in it, it, it does force you to breathe hard, harder. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Wow. Right. Yeah. Do I look yep. Do you even you know what that means? You're all covered up except for your hands. Right, and now Dad's going to turn on that, and that is going to filter uh, the air. Air out, and see we've got fresh air coming in up the top there. Do you know, look up the top. <laughs> See through that, that's currently working. And that's Aston is modeling the brand new filter that Dad made out of an old box. And there's a And there's Charlie, so our cat. done the first spray of paint and it looks pretty good no drippage like I would have <laughs> the extract system as you can see is working really well and we're getting no overspray at all in the rest of the shed we're getting a little bit on the walls here but it's coming down here and you literally see as she's spraying most of it is actually going straight through yeah. to that that's awesome which is actually pretty cool I'm pretty pretty happy with that Mm, layer number one done. Including what we've learned about spray nozzles. Do not buy cheap. <laughs> we've realised that this nozzle here does not stop. Um, the, it's just cheap. And we have crying children, so we'll let you go. And there goes the mask that I bought for Sarah. It doesn't show it that well on the camera, but 
It's an awful lot of um, paint and stuff she was sucked into her lungs had she not been wearing this. Now I've got other cheaper masks, the paper masks, but they don't seal around the mouth. And you see where she stuck her finger underneath her mask to take her mask off. And yeah, you know. But no, I mean, look at that. Sarah can actually do quite a nice job of it. Look at that. No drips anywhere. Unfortunately, we have to wait 16 hours to apply another coat. Don't! So there goes my fresh air system. That, there's my little speed controller. And we hit that on low. Just do a little review on this mask here. Not necessarily the person wearing it, but this thingy here. Um, yeah, first time using it, but it actually struck me how hard it was to breathe through it. But I found, because I quite enjoy doing the spray painting, I was having fun. While I was actually doing the painting, it, it actually wasn't a problem. It was only while I was thinking about how hard it was to breathe that it was a problem. So <laughs> that was slightly more in my head. But yeah, it is certainly different breathing through there. But um, it worked extremely well. I couldn't smell any fumes. I wasn't inhaling anything other than just pure air. Um, it was only after I sort of went to take it off and stuck my finger through there, oh, I could, you know, breathe in the paint and works awesome. I just got the size small one for me. And uh, yes, it's a 3M mask, 7501. And you kind of look like Darth Vader, but a white version, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, I would not bother with those. You get just like the little disposable one use paper ones just with a bit of elastic and stuff. They just do nothing. They are useless. So yes, I highly recommend looking, looking at getting one of them and <laughs> you get to look like that. So you know, awesome. Today we're going to try our brand new spray gun. Look at this. It's a piece of metal workers art. Now we originally bought this cheap uh, one from Bunnings. It was rubbish. We asked for a low pressure paint gun and they said yep this is the low pressure one this is what you want and they did obviously did not know what they were talking about. They're supposed to be on air compressors that are that big that they just bypass air all the time and every time you pull the trigger it squirts paint out and we used it but our air compressor is like only 140 litres a minute and it's too small to actually run one of these and so that really ticked us off that was just a waste of money and we went and bought this from super g porto and this is the type that actually goes with our air compressor so every time sarah releases the trigger it should stop be able to build up the pressure and she should be able to start spraying again and look at that look how beautiful that nozzle is look at the over engineering <laughs> that compared to this that, i mean that just so and well the last one i had to i could spray for about 10 seconds and then I had to stop and wait for it to charge up. So you kind of just get into the groove of it. and Yeah, and the thing is I had to go and switch the valve off at the air compressor every time mm. um, it came on. That was just so annoying. But they reckon this one shouldn't have to do that. Mm -hmm. So we'll let you know how this goes. There was actually instructions about that, we'll have to read the instructions after this. absolutely brilliant it was so much better than the other one um, the other one tended to just have an extremely wide spray area and there was just a lot more that ended up in the air and on the filter and obviously there's still a lot of spray that got on the filter there it's kind of inevitable but 
Yeah, a lot more of it actually landed on the tractor. This needs another couple of coats yet, but that's looking pretty neat, I reckon. So, yeah, I'm actually going to do the unthinkable. I'm actually going to go read the instructions now that I've used it. But, yeah, I did, I did a bit of trial and error, so... <laughs> Did you like yes. did, did you like customizing it with the uh, knobs and adjusters that you've got on it? Yeah, well I found the uh, I turned it so I turned it way up to high and yeah, it came up with real thick stripe and then I turned it right down to low and did that one and so yeah, I don't know if you can see it on the camera but yeah, it made quite a difference so I just sort of stuck it somewhere in the middle and but no, it seems to have gone on nice and even and yeah, awesome. Much better than the last TP one. Yeah, we so. might have to we might have to buy another gun just so we can spray white because um yeah, that paint has another cat thing for it. So we don't want to we don't want to make part of it pink. Yeah. Despite my darling brother's suggestion, sorry Martin, the tractor is not going to be purple with gold flames because then we can't call it the Red Baron. So you know, and that's the only reason. If not, I'd be going for it. No. no. Sorry. <laughs>